Hello boys and girls, Hellstein here. Now I'm gonna be on. Hello boys and girls, Hellstein here. I'm going to be unboxing the Neo Zeal. I guess that's how you say it. Um, if I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. AMX-002. This is HG Mechanics. It was published in 2002. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Anyway, um, we'll show you the bottom of the box. This is the front and back view, and you get a nice little. I guess it's a shadowy figure of the mobile suit, or yeah, that's gotta be what it is. Cause it kind of looks like a a horse, a horse's head, and then you know, um, Master Asia right there kind of looks like him in a way, but I know it's not. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get and pan around on the right side. You, now you see HG Mechanics. This is the second kit in the run. I don't know if they continue the kit series or not. You see the scale. It's one dash. 550 AMX-002 so that would be the scale well I'll, we'll get into what it would be what size it would be up against the mobile suit in a minute because it's got you uh, some little figures that you would get with it um, you know when you get all this stuff you see the front the cables the full body and all the little thrusters and you see these little sword you have to paint that it's a white little piece this is back when they had white pieces instead of you know um, effect parts that's what I'm going to call them and these are the scales they would be up to the mobile suit and they would be like little teeny tiny and the directions will show you how big they would be compared to the mobile suit and then on this side you just see same old stuff just with the choking hazard in the front of it alright this kit has two bags in it this one has two runners and this long cable for the arm to go on this is the second bag you get the uh, base for it and everything because it's one of those kits it has to have a base it can't stand on its own um, and all that kind of stuff you flip over to this side you can see let me flip it around see this is the Zaku that they show you and this is the Gundam they show you they're pretty small compared to this mobile suit but anyway go ahead and look in the manual alright now here's the manual there's not very really much to it this is your front. It shows you where how small these two are compared to him. But me personally, I just, you know, that's going to be its size. So you might say it's 144 scale, I guess, from you know, for my standards of my kits. Because I'm not going to use these. I'll put them together for sake of review. But other than that, I'm throwing them back in the box. I have no point uh, care for them. Um, now they're both in white. Why I don't know. They could just did that in green and that one in white. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they decided to do them both white, so you can paint that green, you know, to be somewhat, somewhere in a way, and you can paint that green and paint that white if you want to, but for me, I'm not going to, I'm just going to put them together for sake of the review. So we just flip the manual around, <clears throat> you see the mobile suit with his arms and his sub-arms, see it pulling out the sword, and see what you can do with the little cable on the arms. I'm not mistaken, you only get one cable, but you can do it on e either arm. Or I could be wrong, but I mean, it makes sense for you to be able to do it on either arm. So, anyway, opening up the manual shows you the arm and everything, the beam saber, the head. The thing about this kit, it comes with no stickers. Now, um, I have the Gerber Tetra, so I might use its swords on this if they'll fit. But anyway, then you get into another page and you get all the stats and all that kind of stuff and it shows you the Gundam and the Zaku up close after you paint them and it shows you some more parts like this you get your nice little color sheet right there and you open up you see your runners and this one has five runners um, so pretty much you're going to start with this the bottom Body basically, and you start getting on the other body. <coughs> Instructions are kind of big, so it's kind of hard to show you. And it looks like you can cut the so they give the, uh, the the wires pretty long, I guess. So you can cut in half to where both arms will have it. But anyway, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get into the runners. All right, now we're getting to runner A. All this nice shaded green. This should be a, like the uh, master grade 
GM original type. Uh, it should take not that long really to put it together. You just cut it off and you clean it up and things like that. This is runner A. Uh, the green is not the same shade of green that it shows. It's like a lighter green on the you know in the box art and everything, but you know it's a dark green. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with painting or anything like that because I'm like most other YouTubers that do this kind of stuff that can paint and stuff like that. I don't you know spray can is my only thing. I'm not gonna spray can uh 144 skill. Uh, if I do a spray can, I mean I did do a Zaku one spray can, but I won't ever do that on a high grade no more. It has to all be on master grades. But anyway, getting to runner B. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell you what these parts are really, other than that might be some of the back, and then, you know, that's maybe the body, and that may be the neck, I mean the head, but, um, I mean, other than that, that's this, this pure uh, speculation really on my part. I really don't know what part goes where, uh, you know, put the kit together and we'll find out. Right, now we're getting to runner C1. This is some, I guess, mechanical parts of it. I don't know why they put it as C1. Because uh, the next part is C2, and on C2, none of the stuff is the same. So, I don't, I mean, they could just say A, B, C, D, but, you know, I guess they want to keep it in A, B, C range. So, you get C1 right here. Uh, you know, this is some sub arms and thrusters and things like that. And here is runner C2. You get your base for Yuzaku, and your base for your Gundam, and then your base for the mobile suits that you got right now. And you see, it's a raised detail, so if you want to, you could, um, you know, um, do a reverse wash, paint that black, and then, you know, I'll paint silk gold first, and then use a enamel, I think it is. Don't quote me on that. Check somebody else's video. They'll let you know. And then you basically paint it all gold, or you just paint, you know, this section gold, and you come over it with black, and then you, you know, just get the Q-tip, and you get rid of the black. That's a reverse wash. I don't, haven't, had, haven't done one of those. I don't have a really, you know, like I said, I haven't really, don't have a, you know, um, paint booth or anything like that so I mean there's really no point of me trying to you know tell you how to do it so like I said just check out other people's videos and they'll tell you how you do a reverse wash if you get this kit yourself and the last runner is this and you see it's more flexible than the rest of it now the only thing on here that's any use to me that I could see would be this if I wanted to keep that but you see Right down there, it's a pretty small size peg, so you might be able, if you have the Gerber Tetra or any other mobile suit, you might be able to use its beam weapon instead of this Q-tip, or, uh, sorry, this, uh, toothpick. But, you know, you get the legs, the Zaku, the body, the arms, and all that kind of stuff. I'm not, fine. I mean, I might, you know, eventually paint this to, you know, see how good I am airbrushing. I'm mean, not airbrushing, but, um, you know, paint brushing. You know, it might be a good little thing here to, you know, practice your skills on. I'm just saying. But, I didn't see that, but I thought it was just, you know, whatever. It's D2 in the runner. Don't have any stickers, but the last thing we have is this big old rod. You can cut it in half to where both arms have it. Um, that's about it, really. This is another one of those quick unboxings. Like that is it for this unboxing. Um, now, when I bought this kit, don't know why I bought this kit, because... It wasn't on USA Gundam store or any other site for a while now, and then I guess they did a reprint or they were some old kits, that, you know, only in Japan. So I was able to get this uh, from USA Gundam store. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I wanted to start doing that in my videos. My next, probably the next kit after this kit that uh, I'm in my unboxing uh, record anyway. I'm going to start trying to tell you how much I paid for them. So you know about how much you have to pay. Now, when I bought this one, it went out of stock. I guess I bought the only one. I bought the Gerber Tetra. That was thirty-five dollars. I can tell you how much that was. Thirty-five dollars for the one forty-four scale. I think that's how much I paid for it. I know how much it is for sale right now on your say kind of store. So if you want to get your Gerber Tetra, go right ahead before they sell out. If they even sell out, I don't know. Uh, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, rate, subscribe, and as always, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.